Here at Brett Hartness Photography, we often get asked how we work on our images. So I'm going to show you today how we work on a simple colour shot. So this image is straight out of camera, and you, as you can see, it looks pretty good already, because we've tried to get our exposure spot on when we took the shot. And that's predominantly why I shoot JPEG, because we try and get it right in camera. So first of all, we're just going to make it nice and flat. So I'm going to get my dodge tool out from the, from the side here, my dodge tool, and we just dodge out some of the areas that have gone a little too dark because I've been exposing for the white of the dress. And that includes the red in the face as well and the black of the dress, a little bit of the trees. Okay, she's got a little bit of a colour cast to her, so we could go image adjust colour balance and take it out that way. Or we go filter and into our colour FX Pro which we use, which is a plugin. Again it's just a little cheat, anything to help you get away from the computer as fast as you can. Okay, that looks quite nice in the black and white conversion. So we, the ones I use predominantly from here are remove color cast and tonal contrast. Okay, so first of all, we're going to remove the color cast that we have here. So we can see there the color cast is red, and we just take a little bit of it out. We can take more of it out, or less of it out. I just want to take a little bit of red out there to clean up the skin and the dress. Okay, now I want to make it nice and punchy, so we duplicate our layer and we go to our layers palette here. Okay, and I often add soft or hard light. Hard light will be too much for this, so I'm just going to add a little bit of soft light. That just gives us some nice intensity here. Flatten that layer down again and go back to the dodge tool and just bring back a little bit of green. You know, I'm using fairly large tools here. I don't go too specific onto my images unless it needs working on individually. Okay, a little bit of a burn tool. Let's just darken that sky a little bit. And go back into Color FX Pro. Uh, shots like this where there's lots of sky and lots of tree area really benefit from tonal contrast. So I'm going to go into that again. You can see how it picks out all the details here. We don't have to go too much because you can work on it too much. And we, Using our sliders up here we can control how much mid-tones and how much shadow contrast we put back in. And again, saturation. Okay, so we use that highlight contrast there to bring back the dress a little bit. You can selectively highlight this area just to bring back the dress and nothing else. So we push that back down, we don't want to do it too much because it's already there quite a lot. Mid-tones, shadow contrast to bring back that, all the shadow detail in the image. Again we don't want to put too much back in. We just play around with it until we get a nice balance. Okay, we okay that. Now to me that looks pretty good. I'm not going to do too much more to that. If we go to the original. Okay, and the last thing we're going to do, we're going to crop it into an image, a print size. So 8x12, 300 dpi. Again, I pretty much usually crop full frame, so make sure everything's in there. And the last thing we're going to do is just add a little bit of sharpening. Image filter sharpen, smart sharpen. Again, she looks pretty good already, so what, I'm not going to change it off my preset here. I'll leave it on that kind of sharpening. I'm just going to go a touch into the face. She has got a false tan on here, the girl, so I'm not going to try and clean that up, although it does look quite blotchy. So if she was larger in the frame, then I probably would do. If we just duplicate the layer again and go to our patch tool, we can grab hold of these bits of stray hair. And just spend a few seconds cleaning it up. So 
You can see if we go back to our layers palette, we can put the hair back in or take it all out. Again, flatten that down, go back to a little small dodge tool. And just clean up the face a little bit, bring out the eyes a touch. If I wanted to selectively go into the skin here, I probably would have to, just to get rid of the blotchiness. But the size of her body on the image is not too bad. We could selectively lasso this or go into the red channel and just take out the red of her skin. Okay, and that's it. Nice punchy colour photograph.